Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, so I wanted to bring something to you guys' attention, which we all know the regular media don't want to bring this to your attention. It's amazing how the media is just fixated with this thing with the Boston Celtics coach. Because I'm finna quit saying his name because I'm tired of bringing his name up. I'm going to bring up a dude whose name should be brought up. So let me get this straight. A guy stepping out on his girlfriend is more important than a dude basically stealing millions of dollars. And they pretty much got proof or astronomical proof that Brent Favre was in on it and he knew what was going on. But see, they don't want to talk about that because they feel a dude basically having an affair with a married lady whose name is being protected is more important than Brent Favre stealing. See, the media do this all the time and they basically give us the ammo and the proof we need to basically justify what we talk about on our channels. Because this is fact. This should be a big story. And it's got little to no steam. Now, Fox Fox Sports talked about it. They had a segment talk about it, but this should be a big story. Because we're talking about millions of dollars on the line. Like I said, let that have been Charles Barkley. Let that have been Shaquille O'Neal. Let that have been Allen Iverson. They would be talking about that every day. But yet, Brett Favre is going through this situation basically next to no coverage. If you think white privilege is, is, is fake and it doesn't exist, then you're in denial and you're a liar. Keep in mind, they have text messages, they supposed to have documents. They really like the feds is really involved. But me myself, I'm just keeping it 100. Brett Favre need to be locked up. And basically the area that he was in is pretty much primarily a lot of people that look like me that could have used that money, but it got used to finance volleyball games and other, other bullshit. That money was for the people and the governor was in on it too, allegedly. And that mean his ass should be locked up. But like I said before, they want to protect Brick Farr because he's under the uh, complexion protection program. That's horrible to do something like that to some people. Brent Favre is already a millionaire. But I guess he get a kick out of doing something like that. And a lot of times, a lot of people like him get a kick out of doing that. Don't you remember the situation with Andy Reid's sons? When they was, uh, you know, doing what they was doing in the Philadelphia area. And they said they got a kick, like, doing what they was doing to pretty much... Uh, pretty much doing business with primarily black dudes. Now, one of them is no longer here, so we'll we'll just leave that alone. But I'm just keeping it a buck. That's the story that got swept under the rug. They really that that story really didn't didn't really gain any steam because, like I said, we already know that the media picks and chooses what type of stories they want to run. If it's a story that make a black dude look bad, <laughs> they all for it. But if it's somebody like Brett Favre, let's wait till all the facts come out. If it's, you know what I'm saying? If it's just light speculation with the brother, they're on it. They're on it. They already talking about what they think gonna happen, should happen, shouldn't, shouldn't happen. Um, I'm, I'm disappointed in him and all this stuff. It's funny, y'all always talk, talking about y'all disappointed in the brother. Well, ain't you disappointed in Brent Favre? Shouldn't you be disappointed in Brent Favre for being a, a fraudulent thief? Brent Favre is a piece of shit. And it's kind of funny. And let's talk about Brent Favre's behavior. Since everybody want to play these games about what, you know, the coach of the Boston Celtics did. Or allegedly did or tied to basically you know basically carrying on with 
uh, employee, and I guess that's against company policy. But don't you remember Brent Favre sending pictures of his uh, junk to, to, to women and stuff? Once again, another story that was swept under the rug about Brent Favre's questionable character. And then Brent Favre being basically a, a peel junkie. You know, whenever it's somebody like Brent Favre, they want to try to give them sympathy. Instead of them being like, oh, this dude is, is, is a scumbag. It comes to, what, what, what caused him? What caused him? What led to him having these mishaps in his life? You hear that on a regular basis. Just like when these white boys be shooting up these movie theaters and these and, and grocery stores and, and banks and all that type of shit. It's like what led to the oh a troubled childhood. But let it let it be a black dude. Well, you know what he, he you, you you know what? Well, he stole a pack of now leaders out the local liquor store when he was five. I mean, it, it, you know, it, that was cause for concern right there. You know, when he was ten, he threw a water balloon at a girl. I mean, like, this is what they do. This is what they do. This is what lamestream media does. It's never about. It, it's never about them just being not good people it's about saying that they went through some through some shit that led to them to become that way where if it's a black dude hey he, bo he was just born a bad person look where he comes from all that type of shit just like the same thing with this will smith stuff how they just blew the will smith thing out of proportion with chris rock but then like i said ezra miller is an international criminal but he get a pass. So there you have it. Brent Favre's white ass should be in jail. He should be arrested and he should be he should be charged. Due to the fact that he's a Hall of Fame football player and he's already rich. That makes it even worse. And all this stuff, I didn't know what where this money came from and all this kind of stuff. That's bullshit. I'm out.